Welcome to the Barnes & Noble Adoption Insight Portal, or AIP. In this video, you're going to learn how to adopt material to your course using the one-click readopt function, adopt by searching by ISBN or keyword, deleting and updating a current adoption, and for Tier 2 users, bulk uploading adoptions via a spreadsheet. First, to access AIP, log into your Canvas. Once logged in, take a look at the left-hand side of the screen to find the Help button or the question mark button. Once you've found that, go ahead and click on Barnes & Noble AIP, then you'll be directed right to your course list. Once on your course list, you'll be able to view the department, course, section, as well as the course title that you're teaching, as well as the rest of the courses that you're teaching for that semester. Now you're ready to adopt. If you're using the same materials as a previous semester, you can adopt via the one-click readopt function or this first option right here, I'd like to readopt from a past adoption. If so, you'll go ahead and click that option, then you're going to come right over here to the drop-down box, go ahead and click on that arrow, and you can choose which term you're looking to readopt from. Once you click on the term, the books that were used for that semester are going to pull up here. If there's any materials that you're looking not to use from that semester, you can simply deselect the boxes right here. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click the one-click readopt, and that's it. If you're using different materials for the upcoming semester, go ahead and select on I'd like to be guided through the adoption process, the second option right here. Once you click on I'd like to be guided through the adoption process, you can view the detailed adoption history of the text, the course, or the faculty member. If you are looking to adopt via an ISBN or keyword, go ahead and simply click on it and then you'll type in that ISBN that you are looking to use. Once you type on it, go ahead and click on the book that pops up. And on there, you can view the information of the book, as well as all of the pricing info, including our student savings with our rental and digital program. The book will automatically set to required, so if you only recommend the book, be sure to click on that. Once you're sure this is the book you're looking to use, go ahead and select Use This Book and Submit, and that's it. If there's any other materials you're also looking to add to that course, after you select Use This Book, you can simply go back up here to search by ISBN and type in those other ISBNs or keywords for those books. If you do not require any materials at all for your class, including any sort of art supplies or any other supplies, you can click on I'm not using any materials for this class and then submit the adoption. To delete any material for the class, you can simply go back into your course list, find the department, course, and section you are looking to make those changes to. Once there, you'll be able to see all of the books that you've adopted and to delete anything, go ahead and you can simply click on the drop down arrow if it's just one of the options that you're looking to delete. From there, you'll select remove from this course and then you can submit the information. If you are looking to delete everything from the course that you've already adopted to, you can go ahead and select the drop down arrow of delete adoption and then submit. If you are looking to add materials to an adoption, simply click on the drop down arrow here. You'll go ahead and type in that ISBN just like we did before once there, you'll click on it. Same thing, you can verify and double check all of the book information as well as pricing, and then go ahead and select to use this book. And then if you had any others that you were looking to adopt, you would simply type that ISBN in here as well, use this book, and then submit the adoption that way. If you are a tier two user and have multiple adoptions that you'd like to submit at the same time, or if you're a faculty member who uses multiple books for a class and would like to use a spreadsheet, we're going to click on this Upload Spreadsheet icon up here at the corner. Once we click on that, we're going to come down here and we're going to click on this template. Please keep in mind that the template here, it is in a CSV file, so we'll want to be sure that we use that. Once we pull up the spreadsheet, we're going to see the term title, section code, ISBN, adoption condition, adoption type, a notes field, as well as no materials listed on the spreadsheet. So we're going to go through and we're going to fill in the information. When filling in this information, the term title and section code are going to be specific to how they're listed in AIP. So to get that information, we're going to select on course list. And then the first thing that it wanted from us was the term information. So exactly how the term is listed here, 
2020-2021 space spring is how we're going to type that into the spreadsheet. So here we go to type that into the spreadsheet. Next, is it's asking us for the section code. So we're going to go back into AIP. We're going to go find our course list right in here, and we're going to type in the department space course dash section, exactly how it's listed in AIP. So we'll use our example here. So ACC space 340-001. Once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and input the 13-digit ISBN without the dashes. The adoption condition, go ahead and type in any. The adoption type, you can list as required or recommended. The notes fields, you don't have to put anything in here. If there are notes you would like your students to see or us, you can certainly input that there. And then no materials, if the course is using materials, you'll put an N for no. If there are no materials required for the class, you'll put a Y for yes. Once we're done with that, you can continue on if there's any other courses you'd like to upload. Once you're done, we'll save it as that CSV format and we'll select file, upload it from there, and it'll upload right into AIP. Keep in mind the job status down here when you do upload it. If it says failed, it'll tell you why over here, and usually it's just because of how uh, it wants the spreadsheet listed. So you can just go back, fix it however it needs to be, and then go ahead and upload that file. If you have any questions regarding anything via, via AIP, you can simply contact the bookstore right here in the communication hub listed in AIP. Also on AIP, you can have view affordability solutions as well as 24-7 adoption support. Thanks for watching.